Pallava, a name which in Czech evokes a sense of the benevolent sun under whose focused, loving care on the most fertile soil, Moravian wines with their rich variety of colors and flavors are grown. A veritable kaleidoscope of nature which pampers all who sojourn there and where you can forget about work problems and step away from the stresses of the world. The local environment is a place for taking it slow or some stress-free learning. The Pavlov Hills are a montage of monumental limestone cliffs, ancient oak groves, ruins above and below. Nearby Mikolov, which is dominated by Mikolov Chateau, a rare collection of historical architecture. For nearly four decades, this area has been a landscape park and a UNESCO biosphere reserve for the last 25 years. The picturesque and fertile landscape with its Mediterranean climate has been attracting people since ancient times. It is here, in the camp of some mammoth hunters, that the famous Viestonica Venus was found. Romans made camp here, and this was one of the major centers of Greater Moravia. In the Middle Ages, two settlements sprung up, which have retained their importance ever since the town of Mikulov and the village of Pavlov at the eastern foot of the Palava Hills. That's where we're headed. As early as the 15th century, Pavlov was the largest wine-growing village of the Mikulov estate, a tradition that is still honored today. Welcome to Pavlov. Where are you from? Can I invite you for a glass of wine in my cellar? Tell me what kind of wine you prefer. The vaulted basement wine cellar under the municipal town hall, with a wine archive, is a nice place to visit and taste wines from the local area. Come in, don't be afraid. Take a glass of wine. Taste for yourself how exceptional the local grapes grown on the limestone bedrock are. This is a young wine. It tastes like fresh fruit. The Aurelius wine is named after the Roman Emperor, Marcus Aurelius. His 10th Roman legion was stationed here. In their settlement, some wine growing equipment was found. Clear evidence of wine growing in the Palava region in ancient history. A wine tasting is a time for the telling of interesting tales. However, these tales are preceded by hard, difficult work in the vineyard. Wine tasting usually takes more time than planned, so it's a good idea to look for somewhere to stay. One option is the Hotel Iris in Pavlov, a wellness hotel with a terrace, a wellness center, and three fully equipped conference halls for up to 30, 40, or 50 people, respectively. The hotel is suitable for banquets or business events. The hotel can provide a wide variety of leisure activities, including comprehensive bespoke programs of every kind. However, in summer days, you would be more attracted by the third Novemlin Reservoir, an ideal place for fishermen, sailors and surfers. Both beginners and more experienced sailors are welcome and equipment rental and related courses are also available. The reservoir is a place for relaxation and sightseeing cruises, swimming and sunbathing. Palava, however, is an ideal place to stay not only in the summer, but also all year round. <laughs> 